Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here with a very quick video to share with you two updates that we've just released to Sendio. Uh, one of them is a pretty simple one that should have been in here from the very beginning. And the second one is a very, very cool one that we've been working on for about a month that I did mention when we first uh, released Sendio. Uh, but since we've been doing so many updates, it kind of just kept getting pushed back, pushed back and pushed back, but it's finally ready. Uh, and I'll share them with you here uh, in this video. So the first one is the ability to select the time zone that your uh, broadcast is going to be sent at. Okay, again, this should have been in here from the very beginning. Uh, but I actually discovered that it wasn't in here because I went on a three week trip. Uh, I was in the United Kingdom for three weeks. Uh, Sandio automatically picked up the fact that I was in a different uh, time. So it pretty much adjusted everything within my account uh, to schedule things based on the new time zone that I was in. So I was five hours ahead of the regular time that I'm used to uh, being in, which is the Eastern time I'm used to. Uh, working and obviously scheduling things for Eastern time, Standard Time since I live in Eastern Standard Time. Um, but when I landed in the UK, I automatically picked up that I was in a different time. So uh, if I was trying to schedule a nine o'clock Eastern uh, Time email, it wasn't letting me uh, if it was already, you know, uh, 2 p.m. in the UK because all of this was uh, blacked out. So now you have the full freedom to select uh, which time zone you want your uh, broadcast to be sent. Okay, so this was actually one that I needed to be done and uh, it was deployed pretty quickly while I was on my trip so that I can work uh, and schedule things for Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that is number one. Number two is the uh, very, very exciting one. It took about a month to put together and deploy and I'll be uh, you know, uh, opening it up for all of you, which is our grouping feature. Now, our grouping features, for those of you that uh, picked up our or, or got our agency license as a bonus, okay, when you first joined Sendio, uh, and our grouping feature allows you to uh, keep all of your client campaigns separate. Uh, so very, very cool feature so that you're not accidentally sending, uh, you know, a campaign that's supposed to go to Joe the plumber to, you know, Jack the attorney, for example. Uh, so to create a new group, you just come here and click create new group and you can say Jack the attorney create. All right. So now I've created another group now to create a new invite. So you can also uh, give uh, create an invitation for your uh, client. So if you want to if you ever want to give access to your clients for their uh, group accounts, you can do that and they'll be able to log in, see all the stats, create campaigns themselves. Uh, whatever it may be, they'll have full flexibility to their own uh, group account. Okay. To do that, all you have to do is click uh, this option here, create a uh, new invitation. And I'll use this email as an example, hit create. And now a group invitation was created and sent to the specified email. So if I come over here and uh, go to my email account that I used, all right, you'll see that uh, you'll get an email like this. You were invited to send your group. You can click uh, to open that email and it'll look like this. Joshua Zamora has invited you to their Jack the attorney group or uh, Joe the plumber. Okay. I used this to test things out. So uh, it's going to say the name of the group here. Uh, they all, they're going to go ahead and click on that link. And it's going to take them directly into the dashboard for their particular group. You can see here it says Jack the attorney in the top right. Uh, and they have full access to their uh, uh, subgroup. Okay. Now this gives them access to nothing else but their subgroup. Uh, so they can come in here, create email campaigns, SMS campaigns, ringless voicemail, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, connect their tw uh, Facebook accounts and their Twitter accounts so that, you know, nothing is being crossed over accidentally. And again, you're not sending, uh, uh, accidentally sending Jack the, Jack the attorney campaigns to Joe the plumber or anything like that. Okay. So, um, I'll come back here. Let me refresh this. All right. And you can now see both of them are here. Uh, and to enter any of these groups, uh, oh, whoops, I'm still logged in. Let me come over here to the, let me close these other two windows. All right, so here I'm back at the admin account and to enter any one of these um, groups, I can come here and click uh, my, the name of the account up here and enter any of the groups by clicking one of these 
uh, groups that I want to enter. So if I go into there, uh, I'm now entered into Joe the Plumber and you can see that uh, it says that up here on the right and I'll be able to start creating campaigns specifically for Joe the Plumber. And if I want to exit the group, I click exit and I'm back at the uh, admin account. Okay. Uh, same thing. I can go into Jack the Attorneys group and now I'm inside of Jack the Attorneys and I can create campaigns for uh, this particular group. Okay. And this allows you to keep everything nice and separate, give access to your clients if they need, if they need and want access uh, and just keep everything nice and organized. This is very powerful for those of you that work in different niches as well. If you want to uh, keep all of your niche lists separate and if you have different partners for different niches, you can create different uh, groups for all of your different niches and partners and all of that stuff. Um, and one more thing that I want to cover, let me go back to the admin account. Uh, we've also integrated it with our sub users uh, feature. So if I come here to sub users and I click add a new sub user, uh, you'll see that you can now either allow your sub user or your VA to use all of the user groups, or you can choose specifically which uh, user group you want them to have access to. So uh, if you're hiring a new VA that's going to work specifically for one or two of your client uh, client campaigns, then you will give them access to just those uh, groups that you want them to have access to uh, or if you just want them to have access to all of it you click on this option here uh, and you can also uh, give them the ability to create new groups as well all right so if I uncheck that that'll pop up again uh, and that's it you click create and now your sub user will also have full access to all the group features as well so uh, some very cool updates there hopefully you enjoy those hopefully you put them to use and you'll be able to uh, start uh, creating groups giving your clients access having your VAs work on your client campaigns and just keep everything nice and organized but also keep everything protected because uh, your sub users will never have access to any of the sensitive information that is stored within Sendio okay so Thank you guys for watching this and hope you enjoyed these updates.